50 games, I think it is pretty special achievement at the moment given where the competitions come from and I'm sure over the next couple of years as we start playing more games it'll probably dwindle out a little bit and we might focus on the hundreds and the 150s but yeah to play 50 games in a, a part-time competition I guess that way back when started with seven home and away games. I've been riddled with a few injuries early on in my career but to finally get to the 50, um, yeah I guess it's, it's really special and I'm really proud to be part of this footy club and be able to play it with this footy club. I think starting journey, 2017, first year, no one knew what it was going to be, no one knew yeah, what it was going to be like, the traction that it gained. Yeah, it's just super special, I think, to be part of a competition that's given so much and, and the football and playing football is one part of it, but given so much to so many young kids out there that I'm just super proud that any young girl born from 2017 onwards has never lived in a world where women couldn't play footy and um, I think that's the proudest achievement. I love leading this young group, but it's amazing. I just love coming to work every single day and I would love it regardless of their age. But I think having such a young group, as I've said before, like their energy and enthusiasm when you walk into the into the doors, it, it's unbelievable. And part of me, I enjoy that they don't understand where the games come from. And then the other part of me loves educating them and, and telling them about what it used to be. And I try not to use the back in my day phase and make myself sound older than what I am. But I love forming that connection. And there's times that it's challenging and there's times that I do feel old and when you look into the reads of it our lifestyles are so different we've got girls living at home with mum and dad and probably not doing too much too many baskets of washing and or cooking too many meals and then you've got the other end of the spectrum is probably me and Jess Sedgenary and Amy Schmidt and Dana Hook as a mum like we've got such an age gap which vary and I think it's a really special thing that we can all bond over over football and form these amazing connections that we'll have for the rest of our lives.